so good morning to you uh, this is in continuation to your previous videos we are discussing some more examples to calculate the lambda max values for the compounds so this is the sixth compound again if you observe carefully see here this is a homoangular diene so the base value for homoangular diene is the base value for homo annular diene so the base value for homo angular diene is equal to you know that it is a 253 nanometers over then i told you to go through your exocyclic double bonds exocyclic double bonds okay now see here now you just this is ring a this is ring b and this is ring c i am writing the structure again i am writing a little bit big structure here for clarity, I am writing the little bit big structure. See. Okay. Now see here. Now if you observe carefully, this is ring A, this is ring B and this is ring C. If you observe carefully, see this double bond is exocyclic to ring A. Exocyclic to ring A. Now this double bond is exocyclic to, exocyclic to ring C. Now this double bond is exocyclic, exocyclic to ring B. So there are three exocyclic double bonds are there. So therefore altogether for each exocyclic double bond 3 into 5 nanometers that is equal to 15 nanometers over. Then comes to this. Then comes your ring residues. So now it is very easy. You can do calculation ring residues very easily. For each ring residue, this is 5 nanometers. Now let us see how many ring residues are there. Now see here. Now this is the double bond. Now this is sp2 carbon, this is sp2 carbon, this is sp2, this is sp2, this is sp2, this is sp2. Now this is attached to one sp3 carbon. So this is one ring residue. Next coming to this. So here there are no ring residues, here there are no ring residues. Coming to this. This is attached to one sp3 carbon. So this is one ring residue. Next. Now for this double bond, this is sp3, this is sp3 carbon, so this is one ring residue. Again this is another sp3, so this is another ring residue. And then for this double bond, this is sp3 and this is also sp3, so this is another ring residue. So how many ring residues are there? So again if you want I am writing the uh, structure again here for uh, clarity. See here, otherwise without any confusion. I am writing clearly here. Okay. So this is uh, uh, ring A, ring B, ring C. Now first consider this double bond. See this is double bond is like this. This double bond is like this. Now this is attached to one sp3 carbon. This is attached to another sp3 carbon. So this is sp3 carbon. This is sp3 carbon. So there are two ring residues are there for here. Two ring residues are there. Next. Next coming to this. This is sp2, this is sp2, this is sp2. Now this sp2 carbon, this double bond is attached to this sp3. So it is attached to sp3 carbon like this. So this becomes a ring residue. Now coming to this double bond. Again, this is sp3 carbon. And again this is sp3 carbon. So this is ring residue, this is another ring residue. Fine. And then you have, so how many ring residues are there? One here, two, three, four, five. Five ring residues are there. So 5 into 5 is equal to 25 nanometers and, and then you have double bond extending conjugation. Double bond extending. Double bond extending conjugation. Double bond extending conjugation. See how many double bonds are extending conjugation is that see here. Now here this is the home angular diene. Now for this home angular diene this is the double bond extending conjugation. Okay. So you have 1 into 30 nanometers. That is equal to 30 nanometers. Just add it. You will get the answer. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 3, 13. 1. 5 plus 1, 6, 7. 7 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. And then 2 plus 1, 3. 313 nanometers. Over. Sixth example is over. Now coming to seventh example. Example 7. You have. See here you have home annular diene. Again this is home annular diene. So the base value for homoangular diene, 
base value for homo annular base value for homo annular dying that is equal to 253 nanometers right and then next exocycling double bonds exocyclic double bonds now this is exocyclic double bonds. see how many exocyclic double bonds are there again this is ring a this is ring b this is ring c okay now first draw the ring a this is ring a is like this now you have a double bond attached to this so this double bond is this double bond is exocyclic to ring a over coming to ring b red ring b here this is ring b you have a double bond here you have a double bond again write the ring c see here now this double bond and again you have another double bond is there here okay so therefore this double bond is uh, exocyclic to exocyclic to ring c this is ring c and this double bond is exocyclic to exocyclic to ring b this is ring B. So there are three exocyclic double bonds are there. So this is one exocyclic double bond. This is another exocyclic. This is another exocyclic. So there are three exocyclic double bonds. So three into five nanometers that is equal to fifteen nanometers. Over. Then comes your ring residues. I think now here itself because you're already you already know the concept. So therefore now we can write uh, the ring residues here itself. Now see here. Now first take this double bond. Now this is attached to this sp3 carbon. So this is one ring residue. Okay, fine. Then now coming to this double bond. This double bond, this is attached to one sp3 carbon. This is another ring residue. Similarly, come here like this. This is sp3 carbon. So this is another ring residue. Then come here to this sp2 carbon this is another ring residue because you have sp3 carbon here and similarly this is sp3 carbon is another ring residue so one two three four five five ring residues are there so therefore five into five nanometers that is equal to 25 nanometers and then and then if you observe carefully for this home angular dying see this is double bond extending conjugation this is also double bond extending conjugation so two double bonds are there in ex double bonds are in extending conjugation so double bonds double bonds extending conjugation double bonds extending conjugation bracket law 2 into 30 nanometers that is equal to 60 nanometers Okay, so now you add all these things. Now, see so here 5 plus 5, 10 plus 3, 13. So, this is 10 plus 3, 13. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. And then you have one here, 353 nanometers. So, seventh example is over. Then comes your eighth example. This is another example you have. Okay, eighth example. Fine. Again, see if you observe carefully, see this is nothing but your heteroannular dying. This is a heteroannular dying. So the base value for heteroannular dying. Base value for heteroannular. Base value for heteroannular dying. That is equal to 214 nanometers. Over. Your job is over. Then, then comes your exocyclic double bonds. This is exocyclic double bonds. Now, if you observe carefully, this is ring A, this is ring B, this is ring C, this is ring D. Now, you write the ring uh, C structure. This is ring C. Now, for this ring C, for this ring C, this is ring C, you have one double bond here, you have another double bond here. Okay. So, for this ring C, this is one exocyclic double bond, this is another exocyclic double bond. So, this is one exocyclic, this is another exocyclic. So, two exocyclic double bonds. Two exocyclic double bonds. Two exocyclic double bonds to 
ring C. So, 2 into 5 nanometers. 2 into 5 nanometers, that is equal to 10 nanometers. Then comes your ring residues. Now it is very easy for you to write the ring residues into 5 nanometers. That is equal to. See here for this, this is a double bond. This is one sp3 carbon. This is one ring residue. Again for this double bond, this is sp3 carbon. So this is another ring residue. And coming to this, this is sp3 carbon. Again this is sp3 carbon. So this is the ring residue, this is the ring residue. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ring residues are there. Right? So 4 into 5 nanometers, that is equal to 20 nanometers. Add it. 4, plus 4 nanometer, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4. And then you have 244 nanometers. Over. Eighth example is over. Coming to ninth example. Again, this is nothing but your heteroannular dye. This is nothing but your heteroannular dye in base value for base value for heteroannular base value for heteroannular dye. That is equal to okay. Now the base value for heteroannular line. So you have 214 nanometers. Right? Then exocyclic double bond. Exocyclic double bond. See how many exocyclic double bonds are there. Now if you draw, if you draw ring A and ring B again, this is ring A, this is ring B again. Now draw ring A and ring B again here ring A. Okay. So, this is A and B. Right. Now, this double bond is exocyclic to ring B. Exocyclic to ring B. Now, this double bond is exocyclic to ring A. Exocyclic to ring A. So, there are two exocyclic double bonds. So 2 into 5 nanometers that is equal to 10 nanometers and then you have ring residues. See how many ring residues are there? No, see here. Now take this double bond. This is one ring residue because sp3 carbon. Again, this is again this is another sp3 carbon. So this is another ring residue. Again for this double bond, see here. This is sp3 carbon. So this is another ring residue. Okay. And again, here you have another sp3 carbon. So, this is another ring residue. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ring residues are there. So, ring residues 4 into 5 nanometers. That is equal to 20 nanometers. Over. Then, double bond extending conjugation. Double bond extending conjugation. So, there is one double bond. See, this is heteroannular dye. One double bond is extending conjugation. So, 1 into 30 nanometers. That is equal to 30 nanometers. Now, add everything. You will get the answer. If you add everything, you will get the answer. So, therefore, here the answer is uh, uh, 4 nanometers. Then, 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 274 nanometers. Over. Your answer is over. And then, coming to the last molecule. A tenth molecule, you have 10. Hmm. Now again, see here, this is nothing but your acyclic diene. See here, base value for base value for acyclic diene. Base value for acyclic diene. That is equal to 217 nanometers okay and then see exocyclic double bonds now you have exocyclic double bonds you have exocyclic double bonds right so once you have an exocyclic double bond see here this double bond this is let us suppose this is a this is b so this is exocyclic to ring a this is exocyclic to ring b so exocyclic exocyclic to ring A. This is exocyclic to ring B. Exocyclic to ring B. Fine. Now this is C. 
if you observe careful again i am writing the structure here i am writing the structure here again okay fine now see here this is the double bond this is one sp3 carbon this is sp3 carbon so this is another ring residue this is one ring residue this second ring residue then again see this double bond carbon so this is sp3 carbon this is sp3 carbon so this one ring residue this is another ring residue so four ring residues are there so ring residues so you have ring residues bracket of 4 into 5 nanometers that is equal to 20 nanometers and then here how many exocyclic double bonds are there 2 into 5 nanometers 10 nanometers now add all these values so 7 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 and then 247 nanometers over your answer is over then finally again the 11th example okay so again this is a base value for a cyclic diene this is a cyclic that is equal to 217 nanometers so this is 217 and then here exocyclic double bond exocyclic double bonds now you have exocyclic double bond so 1 into 5 so this is a exocyclic exocyclic double bond to ring A so this is A let's suppose so 1 into 5 nanometers is equal to 5 nanometers then you have ring residues is equal to so this is one sp3 carbon this, so this is one ring residue this is another sp3 carbon this is another ring residue so therefore 2 into 5 nanometers 10 nanometers see i am writing again so without having any confusion i am writing for ring residues again here see here okay either this or this both are same okay now for this double bond see this is sp3 carbon so this is one ring residue for this double bond this is another sp3 carbon so this is another ring residue no, this is sp2 this is sp2 no alkyl groups are there here so the only thing is you have to see the alkyl groups alkyl groups in the sense sp3 carbons that's it okay add it so 7 plus 5 12 uh, 2 2 plus 1 3 232 nanometers that's it thank you very much we'll discuss more examples in the next video